Yesterday in Hobart, Wild Oaks 11 crossed the finish line to be the first boat home in the 2018 Rolex Sydney Hobart Yacht Race, posting a race time of one day 19 hours and 7 minutes to claim line honours. Victory came after a thrilling final leg down the Tasmanian coast that saw all four competing 100-foot maxes fight for the race lead. Just six nautical miles separated the pack leader, Comanche, from fourth place Infotrack. But as the yachts negotiated Tasman Island, Wild Oats and then Blackjack both slipped by as Comanche slowed in the northerly breeze. As the leaders approached the Derwent River, Wild Oats extended their lead to an unassailable five mile advantage as they closed in on the finish line. And in their wake, a dramatic duel ensued for second place that eventually saw Blackjack prevail over Comanche. Wild Oats 11's victory, which was upheld after a protest, extends their record of lying on its wins to nine. Enormous satisfaction for the crew after the disappointments of the last three editions. Redemption day, mate. That's, a, that's what it's all about. I mean, it was an unbelievably uh, you know, tightly fought contest by all four boats. And, um, mate, we, uh, the guys, just did an awesome job. And to be here you know, in this position today is just a wonderful feeling. So couldn't be happier. With line honours decided, the focus switches to the race for the overall winner on handicap with Tasmanian Yacht Alive currently sitting in pole position. Join us again for more race updates in the 2018 Rolex Sydney Hobart Yacht Race.